is how I feel right now when I see all of you in the church. I ask our Heavenly Father to bring all of us and to make his heart happy because we can make him happy by worshiping him. I will talk with our beloved Sunday school a little bit and then I will talk with you, if you don't mind. Allow me? That's good. So, happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. I want to hear it. Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. That's good. What do, you, what do we call Palm Sunday in Surioyo? Yes? Oh, Shano. Good for you. So, today, it's a very special day for you. And according to our tradition, you remember when Jesus entered to Jerusalem? I need Micah, please. Microphone. Because I'll bet you they know the story better than a lot of us here. So, anybody can tell me what happened when Jesus entered to Jerusalem? Was the Hoshana about this? Is my friend, by the way. He entered in Jerusalem on a donkey. Exactly. He entered to Jerusalem on a donkey. What else can you tell me about the Hoshana? Yes, people wave palm leaves and all of leaves. Oh, leaves. This is what the Bible said. And what else happened in the Oshana day? Yes. I'm scared to say that before. What? Well, good for you, guys. What else Jesus do in the Oshana day? Anybody knows? You studied in the Bible study. So he entered Jerusalem and people, they were waving. But while he was waving, there was certain people, we call them the Pharisees. Those, they were almost always against Jesus, trying to cut him on something wrong he, he made. So they were complaining about him, but they couldn't. Then they asked, please, teacher, make them quiet. Why they scream? Then Jesus said something very important. He said, if those will be silent, the stone will cry out saying, Hosanna. So pretty much this feast is for you specially, because those people who were crying, everybody, but special the kids. And we say in our church tradition, we say even the innocent people, they were able on that feast to say, Hosanna. Do you know the song Oshano? You know it? Let's sing it together so we'll show them how much we know. Three, two, one. Oshano, Oshano, Oshano. Always green. The olive tree, it's always green. All the year alone. 
and also the palm leaves it's always also green and have you ever seen palm trees it's always high and it grows very very high so Jesus when I tell us that everybody who prays me everybody he will welcome in me like those people who welcome in him when he entered Jerusalem they will stay always green which is their spiritual life always good and they will grow like a palm tree very high to heaven so that's why Jesus he chose these two kind of trees especially but in order those to stay green and grow high what do they need the tree to grow yes water sunlight wow yes soil food exactly what else Rain, oh bravo, good for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, in order those kind of two branches to stay green and to grow very high, and green which means always good. Like somebody, he has Jesus in his heart. He allowed Jesus to enter his heart. He will be always happy and have peace and rejoice. And he will grow very high in his relationship with Jesus. But if he doesn't have food, what's going to happen to him? He dry and nobody will use it. But what is the food that we're talking about? The food is water, soil, and sun. What do you think this food is spiritually? The water and the soil. Yes? Sorry, forget us. <laughs> Yes, I'm proud of him. Faith and hope. Good for you. So in order those to grow, they need food like all of us. We need faith and hope to grow. And also we need to receive what? What we have over there? Yes, Holy Bible. And what else we receive? Communion, exactly. So we need to eat the communion, the faith, the word of God, the Bible, to eat it, which is to read it always. And also we need the Son, which is our faith in Jesus Christ. So that's why now when you are going to go, all of us, we're going to go procession around the church. While you hold these two branches, remember that you have always to receive the word of God, to read it, to, re to eat communion, and also to open your heart for the faith, so you will always stay good spiritually, always agree, and you will grow high to the sky. Amen to that? Amen. God bless you all. But if not, what's going to happen to you? Yeah. What? Die. You're going to get dry, yeah. and then you will die. Okay, don't forget that. So I think when we talk about the Palm Sunday, we talk about very special feast, full of happiness, full of joy, full of rejoice. And in the Old Testament, there was, can you now hear me please? It's now my time to talk with the adult. Is that good? Good for you. So, when we talk about Palm Sunday Feast, we talk about occasion that is full of joy and happiness. And in the Old Testament book of Zechariah, there was a prophecy. By the way, the Old Testament is full of prophecies. There is, or there are more than 300 prophecies about Jesus as a king. And one of these prophecies, it is Zechariah. It's so easy to memorize it, and when you go back home, you can read it. Zechariah 9.9. 9. It says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having a salvation. 
So pretty much the feast of the Palm Sunday, it's about to rejoice. And we can tell from your clothes, you all wearing very beautiful clothes, you all having big smile, you all celebrate each other with happiness. So this is what the Palm Sunday about. But if we read also the Bible that I just read this morning from full gospel, while it talks about how Jesus entered to Jerusalem, there was people, they were crying, Hosanna, Hosanna, they were rejoicing and they were very happy. While there was another people, they tried not to, and they asked Jesus to rebuke the disciples and the people who were crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna. But let me tell you something, those people, a couple days later, which is in Good Friday, do you remember what they were crying out, saying to Jesus? Crucified him, crucified him. The same people on Sunday, they were saying Hosanna. On Friday, they were saying, they were saying crucified him, crucified him. Because those people, their joy was temporary joy. And I wish in this beautiful feast that we don't have temporal joy. We have real joy, deep joy, serious joy, serious happiness. I just want to tell you something. That Jesus, Jesus in, in all he thought, it was to bring joy to the world and to bring joy to the people. Unfortunately, a lot of people here with us today, their heart is broken. And they enjoy only from outside, not from inside. Like the people, they were there. While Jesus is calling us in this very holy feast to have a real joy in Him. But how we can have real joy in Him? Number one, we have to open our heart to Him. And to tell Him, Lord, come on in. We will receive you. Not only for a couple days or a couple hours in a week, but all the days of our life. And later on, when Jesus entered to Jerusalem, people also, they were crying and saying, Blessed is he who came in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. He is King, but not any kind of King. He is King of the Kings. So if you allow him to come to your heart, to reign over your heart, to be a king in your heart, you will have the true joy, the not temporal joy, but eternal joy. So this is what is the Feast of the Palm Sunday about. To open your heart to the king of the kings and make him reign over your heart, then you will be able to receive the true and the right joy and happiness if you still suffer in your life if you still did not taste the real joy jesus is calling you today when he entered the people they were there they took their clothes and what they did they spread it among him front of him jesus he wasn't in hollywood when they have like big rewards or something, what they give, what is prayed for the movie stars, red carpet. But Jesus, he didn't have red carpet. He had people clothes. And the clothes is here, it refers to the glory of someone. When I wear very beautiful, very good clothes, I see myself and everybody will see, wow, how beautiful this, how good is this? So those people, they threw their glory among Jesus. So that's why when they pronounce him and tell him, you are the king of Israel, they were actually having real joy. Unfortunately, they didn't continue. But the call for us today is to welcome in him in our heart and to allow him to be king. I will end up with a beautiful story I read it one time. It says that there was 
a king. He had everything you can imagine except happiness. And he had one of his servants. He was a Christian. He was a true Christian, right? And he was always smiling, always happy, always talk about happiness. No matter what happened, he was always keeping a smile. So one time this king, he said, why I don't have this real joy? Why this person is servant and he's always happy? I want to have the secret of the happiness, so I will be a perfect person. Have money, have position, and have also happiness, real true happiness. So he called him. He said, can you tell me please why you are always happy? Can you explain to me why? He said, yes, yeah, very easy. Just allow Jesus to enter your heart. You will be always happy. He said, wow, how can I allow him to come to my heart? He said, you know, we have a farm over there where all the animals in the stables go there and kneel down in that mud and ask Jesus to come to your heart and repent and he will come. He was so mad at him, he said, what are you talking about? I am king, you asked me to go and kneel down in the table where the animal, where the dirt, where the mud. He said, well, you ask me, I'm just answering you. Why are you mad at me? He kicked him out. A couple of years later, this king, he got very sick. And he was about to die. And now, there is no fun. There is no joke. His life will go. So he remembered that guy. He asked to bring him back to him. He said, you know, I was really foolish. But now I think I'm going to die. I don't want to lose my life up there as I lost my real joy and happiness here. Can you please tell me what can I do? Please, I beg you. He said, you know, the offer is the same. The stable is there and you go kneel down and just ask God from all your heart to forgive you and he will enter your heart. So that king, he get out of his bed and because he was sick, he was barely was able to walk in. Then that servant, he hold him. He said, you can kneel down here and Jesus will come to your heart and will give you peace and happiness now and he will grant you the eternal life. He said, but you just told me to go there. He said, I said so because I want to see you really your will. Are you willing to break yourself in order to accept Jesus? Or you will just try to get Jesus like you get money, you get position. Was it that from all your heart or only from your mouth to be happy, not to have really Jesus? He said, now I can see you and you really looking for Jesus. And now Jesus, he will enter your heart. And after they pray together, he was very happy that king. So what I want to say, dear brothers and sisters, if you want Jesus to reign over your heart as a king, you will be happy and you will be very, very having peace all the time. You can ask him just from your mouth or you can ask him from all your heart. It's all about you. If you're ready to share the real happiness that Jesus came and he gave it to everyone who believe in him, now is the perfect time in the feast of the greatly rejoicing. Let's all of us stand now. And while we're going to recite the prayer of confession, let's all of us please Pray and ask Him to come and to forgive us. The way you all look amazing from outside, ask Him to make you all so great and beautiful and amazing from inside by reciting the prayer of confession from all your heart 
and make Jesus a king over your life. While you're going to recite the prayer of confession, ask yourself, who is your king? Who is your true king? Is it your desires? Is it your money? Is it your uh, education? Is it your family's name? What is it? Your health, your beauty, what is it? If you want to be the son and the daughter of the king of the kings and to have the real happiness, please recite this prayer from all your heart and you will be able to be a son and true of the heavenly king. May God